So my name is Dustin Ragland and uh, I do some different drums and loops and percussion thingies and so I'm going to be running a few different analog drum machines through the Descent as well as talking through how to set it up as a uh, reamp device, much like a plug-in or an uh, analog outboard effect thing in the DAW. So but I'll start first with the, uh, the analog drum machine where I've got a, one of the tricks with using any kind of time-based thing with drum machines is getting the time to lock up and sync up and so I've actually saved a preset that the pre-delay control on the reverb time when you have it in the reverse mode with the descent reverb time acts as a pre-delay which gives you kind of your time factor in how it responds to the sound so these are just analog drum machine sounds that by themselves just sound and you see with the short reverb time, with the pre-delay being that short, it gives it a time factor a little bit. Much like a delay would be, or a slapback echo. But one of the cool things they found out about an accident is actually when you play a loop with the reverse delay on, and you start messing with the reverb time, when the loop is mostly in the wet mix here. So if you're hearing that nice little reverse thing. When you mess with the reverb time, it creates sort of a DJ speed up, slow down effect here. Now that reverb time to shorten, it speeds it up and makes it a little higher pitched. And if you lengthen the reverb time, it gives you the speed up and slow down effects there. And of course, with a little bit of tone control, the tweak, and the diminish, giving us a little bit of confusion to deal with there. So that's kind of a fun neat effect when a loop is actually going. And you can hear when the dry comes back in, you get more of the delay kind of effect that you get with the reverse. But I've actually saved a preset on here, on my red, that's timed to the tempo that we're at on here, which is about 100 BPM. So that now... a little bit of the same kind of tempo effect depending on how I want it to sync these together with the drum machine. So that's kind of one fun effect here that we've got. The next would be kind of what you might you know sit down with and typically try which would be actually just playing single shot sounds and trying to pull some kind of cool space around those. Now because you've got a little bit of a pitch control with the kick one of the things on the Shimmer preset, dialing in some octaves on there too as well, I think it's on my blue preset here, I've got this very large kind of self oscillating effect going on where my diminish is so high, my reverb time is so high that they actually just feed back a little bit by themselves, I just leave them up, which is kind of nice. But the thing to remember is because I've got these octaves on here, it's playing an octave below and above my kick here, so just the low octave, there's just a little extra layer of sub that's in there that especially feeds into our long tail. But when I bring in the higher octave, it really gives another layer of detail. And if you can play with the pitch of your drum sound, like you can on this guy, actually create some pretty wild spacey effects on there. Same with the snare. Because that higher octave kind of reveals a little bit of the uh, inherent pitch in the drum itself. like that. Uh, and then obviously you can feed, if you have a stutter effect, you can feed that 
into your reverb and get a, a bit of a pre-delay actually coming from the machine itself and the reverb space going on there. So pretty neat, nifty little stuff on there. All right. Um,